Okay folks, welcome back to Vice City with the OHKO mod. Let's get the show back on the road. Now in this recording session, I am going to have a go at the missions for Love Fist and Big Mitch Baker. Now I know um, in, a, in a previous recording session I said that I'm not too... Actually no. It's regarding Hog Tide. Yeah, sorry, I was going to say... I think I said that Hog Tide might not be too difficult, but actually no. I think I said Mitch Baker's most difficult mission with OHKO will be Hog Tide. And it's because there are, yes, more infinitely respawning enemies to deal with. That's right. But one mission at a time. We have to do Love Juice before we can do any of Baker's missions. Yep, Baker's Bikers. Right, the minigun will hopefully come in very handy for his second mission, Messing with the Man. And there is a very, very good chance that I will do the missions for Avery, Umberto and Auntie Pule in this session. I know you can't skip this cutscene in case you're wondering. So, shut up! Right. Go on, fall off. You know you want to. Ugh, stew! Don't blame me, blame that stupid driver. Oh, you'll give us any excuse, Stu. Sorry, I have to go down south to pick up Mercedes anyway, so it's fine. Jesus. <laughs> that really looked like it hurt. And how long did it take you to figure that out, Stu? And I also know just the vehicle. A mother fucking police chopper. Yeah, forget Yusuf Amir from the Baldegatoni and his mother fucking noose tank. I don't think they could have picked a better voice actor for him. Yep, Oma Jolili. Perfect choice, Rockstar. Right, land carefully because it's very easy to either A, get stuck, or B, cause Mercedes to get stuck underneath your helicopter. So I think I will actually just leave the helicopter here. Oh, okay, fine. Oh. Just a second, everybody. A second or two or three or four or five. Oh, seriously, come on. Hey, Finally. <laughs> Jesus, okay, fine. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna fly straight back. See you back at the recording studio. Fuck the helicopter. Well, so far, I don't think that's happened in any of my playthroughs of Vice City. Right, oh shit. Right. If you really want to use a cop car, you're gonna have to lose your wanted stars. All because Mercedes got her ass flattened underneath my fucking helicopter. Jesus. You know what? What a start to this bloody recording session. 
I know you can't skip this cutscene either. Right. I don't pick up that clothes pick up very often. And just in case I make an absolute dog's mess of this mission attempt as well, I'm going to save that cop car inside my garage. Right. I'm going to pass the mission on this attempt. Am I right or am I right? Hmm? Is there a canary around here? Okay. Uh, I don't really want to take a bike because, again, OHKO. And you know what? You can rectify that. Yeah, the siren switched on the issue by doing that. Stop making pavement pizza over there, that's my job. And I forgot I can use the siren to get these dumbasses out of the way. Good. Look, if you really want to get in, if you really want to use a helicopter to pick Mercedes up. You can fly the helicopter to her apartment and then switch to a car and then get back in the helicopter. Yeah, that's what to do. Yeah. And that is what I will do. Well, fingers crossed. Nothing bad happens on this occasion. Right, see you back at Mercedes's place. Yes, of course I can do exactly what I mentioned, because... Well, I should be able to just leave the helicopter here or something. Yeah, because there are a shit ton of cars on the road just outside this building. Ah, uh, the stein's good enough for me. I still need pocket money, pal. Hey Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect return. Right, and get down there. Right, you're gonna get in the helicopter and you're not gonna get squished. Comprending? Good. There we go. You know, during attempt number one of this mission, I actually had a horrible feeling that she was going to get squashed under the helicopter during the cutscene. And sadly, that is precisely what happened. Hey, at least I keep you guys entertained. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Final mission markers right there. Come on. Whoa. I, see you later, big boy. I had visions of that yellow car driver running her over. Okay. It's crazy for games. Get it right. I'm going to save here. And then have a go at Psycho Killer Keska Uh Stu, this is the vanilla game, not Titan Vice. I don't care. Did you hear that sound? Bloody hell. Did he actually stay on that bike until the bike hit the ground again. I think so. Okay. Right. Am I gonna find a way to cock this mission up as well? Or should that be 
Is the game gonna find a way for me to cock this mission up? Someone else has a shitty aim. And... I could probably have just jumped out of the limo and... Uh, minigunned that car from a distance. Well, I might be able to pit manoeuvre the car. Yeah, I can... Oh, I can do it now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Publicity tour can wait. Let's head down to the greasy chopper. First, alloy wheels of steel. It's a bike race, everybody. And what mod am I using? That's right, OHKO. And to make matters worse, your opponents ride bikes that have much better handling. Well, if you want, you can steal one. Only downside to doing that is the race begins immediately. To be honest, that's fine because, uh, as I said countless times before, the AI might be faster, but they're not smarter. Okay. Is this the Go Slow Carnival? Yeah. It might be worth pinching one of your opponent's bikes. Might make things a wee bit easier. Okay. Yeah, your opponent's bikes have better speed and handling than regular angels. That's also the case with uh, the the stallions' bikes during the mission, the bum deal in Vice City Stories. Right, don't veer into my side if you don't mind. Well done. I don't think they even realise that their bikes handle a lot better. Well, messing with the man next up is going to be very interesting, as is Hog Tide. Oh, hello. You stay away. It's fine. I've won this for sure. <clears throat> Not far now, everybody. Stay alert. <laughs> I've always got to stay a fucking alert in a playthrough like this. Ain't no doubt about that. One corner to go. Nope. That's the last corner. Easy peasy. Right. Given that messing with the man is probably going to be horrible with OHKO, unless the repeatedly shoot a destroyed vehicle strat works. I'm going to save. But the rain is on. Jesus, she was a pissed off driver. Yep, she was indeed. Right, are you ready? I certainly am. Let's see how I get on. Um, if you're going to shoot a destroyed vehicle repeatedly, do it as far away from the road and streets as possible. It doesn't work. Okay. Okay, fine. Work fast. Nah, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Nah. Unless you just got to keep shooting at it. You just don't let go of the trigger. Oh, fuck that. Right. Let me take out the chopper. With the minigun. Yeah. Just a second. That helicopter is still... 
He doesn't even want to go down. There we go. Success, I win. Right, challenge. Get up the stairs without getting shot. <gasps> or run over, bloody hell. Good job. Fuck me. Right, let me reload to clear my stars. Fantastic, well done. So it's all about shooting the police chopper repeatedly. There, that's the vehicle you can shoot repeatedly. Right. Hog tied, everybody. What's the plan? Remember, there are infinitely respawning enemies in this mission. He still wants his bike back. Well, he ain't getting it. Too fucking bad. Um... Am I able to bring a fast car? Yeah, use the fast car to do a stunt jump over the wall. Because I could bring a bike, but... Again, bikes in OHK don't mix, you can easily get shot off. Cop car might work. Yep, it spawned there on this occasion. And you can bail off a bike in this game without taking damage. It's cars that cause you to lose health if you bail out of them. Right, let's get a good run up. And if any traffic gets in the way, use the siding. Only downside is, this car is very prone to flipping upside down. I think I've made it. Just. Yeah, more than just. Okay, the sharks are on alert. Uh, just in case, I'll take his ass out as well. Yeah. Oh, right in the head. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Right. Try to keep this car. Welcome to the house of fun. We'll take out the ones who don't respawn at least. Right. Yeah, the ones who disappear do respawn over there at that door. Okay. Well, are there any more over here? Well, there will be if you go over there again. Oof, right. Is he the... I've got two choices. I can either A, lure him... He's not even got a gun. He's... They're not even armed. Okay, fine. Now they're not even armed, it's fine, I can just go. Yeah, run. Right, just watch out for that gang burrito that comes after you at the end. Yeah, on this road. Aren't there two that come after you though? Well, at least two. I'm not sure. So watch out for those parking meters and everything else for that matter. Yeah, two. Thought so. And in bar brawl, there's only one security car that comes after you. I'm gonna go over here just in case. And yeah, here we go, everybody. Safe and sound. Well done. <laughs> Once I've saved, I'll BRB, and then... I think I'll save Publicity Tour for later. Because that's uh, unchanged with OHQ. Okay. 
before I get the phone call. Well done. BRB. Got a call to take from Mitch. I'm thinking about doing... Yeah, I'm thinking about doing the missions for Avery, Umberto and Auntie Poulet now. Ah, uh, okay, he wasn't a pissed off driver, right. Let me get the chopper. I'm going to keep the chopper to speed 4 iron up, yeah. I can just fly on the golf course with this. And I will of course be speeding up Demolition Man and Stunt Boat Challenge. I'm not too worried about um, all the missions for Avery, Umberto and Anti Pule. Except naval engagement. Yeah, that's going to be the most difficult one. And it's simply because of the enemies on the boats who are right in front of you. And no, you can't steal Rico's boat and drive away from them because the only way to do that is by killing Rico, which fails the mission. Chopper is still there. Good. Glad to see that. You have a nice smile. Right. Just be careful when you land this thing. As we've discovered, tiny cars can prevent the helicopter from taking off as well. Yeah, how weird. Well, I think so far I've uh, managed to avoid taking fall damage by simply uh, running off the curb. Right, fingers crossed the chopper stays put after I touch the pink marker outside the building. Ah! Goody goody. Right. Probably just use the minigun. I've got it. I might as well. Yeah, says the one who didn't use the minigun to destroy Nick Kong's boat in Autoside. Oh, shut up. Alright. And they're no longer pissed. Good. And given how easy Demolition Man and 2-Bit Hit are, I'll probably just do both those missions without saving. You know, just do them both in a row without saving. And with any luck, this helicopter will still be where I left it after Demolition Man. I could use it to get to the shop in Little Havana at the start of 2-bit hit more quickly. It is still there. And by the way, I'm pretty sure that if you use a camera hack mod to move the camera during Demolition Man's opening cutscene, the limo has changed from black to green. Right. See you at the end.
Bloody hell. <laughs> Those flashes. Just to make sure the helicopter is going to be there when I start this mission. One well placed sniper shot, and then just got to get my ass out of Little Havana. A little Haiti, sorry. So, this mission is basically Vice City's. Wakagashira Wipeout. Only this time you have to use a certain item of clothing and not a certain vehicle. Yep, this mission will fail if you kill the gang lord when you're not wearing the Havana outfit and that includes using the change character cheat to change your character model to somebody other than Tommy right, don't need the chopper anymore but I was gonna get the helicopter back but it's okay. Cafe to is not that far. Nice lag, not. I'm just gonna go in that alley opposite the funeral parlor, and then I'm good to go. So as long as I get the excellent they've spotted you subtitle, yeah, just like that. Okay. That's the bastard over there. I'm just going to save here at the print works. Get the phone call from Umberto when I'm outside Cafe Rubina. Bloody hell, guys, give it a break. And look what's still there. Not that I need it anymore, anyway. I wonder how Canum Fodder is going to play out. The only part of that mission I'm not looking forward to is the bit where you have to get in the van because. It's quite easy for the van to get destroyed by the enemies shooting at it as you're getting in. And holding them off with OHKO before you get in isn't going to be easy. <laughs> Excuse me. You gotta love the Cuban Hermes car in this game. It's cool. This is what horses eat. Right, I will see you at the end of this mission as well. And you might not have seen it properly because the, because the video was sped up, but um, one, I almost got taken out by a... He's dead. By another boat during the first part of the course, and also during the first part of the course, I almost flipped the boat upside down. Yeah, almost tipped the boat over and landed upside down. I'm sure I've done that in that mission before. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy Kaufman Cabs, save there, and get anti Pulley's three missions out of the way before doing the rest of Umberto's missions. 
got an excuse to get an M4. While I'm in the area. Oh, shit! I think the accelerator key got stuck. Okay. And I'll probably end up using the minigun to take out the rival taxis in friendly rivalry and Carvmageddon. I'm not sure it's quicker, the Kaufman Cab or the Voodoo. Well, I think it might be the Kaufman Cab. I could be totally wrong. But I think the Kaufman Cab is more prone to flipping upside down than the Voodoo. Right. Oh, then the Saber came along. That's the motherfucking dark green Saber. Or is it grey? Hard to tell because it's dark. It's got a cross between dark grey and dark green. Fuck it, just go. Right. I can't jump down off the roof. Hashtag fall damage. Right. Oh! I forgot about those guys up there. On the roof. Right, go. Oh. <laughs> well, on one hand, yes, thanks for knocking my door off. But, okay. It's also increased my chances of getting busted. Snipers. Oh, it's supposed to pick it up, Tommy. Good. Right, let's turn the heat down. By picking up that start. Loads of time, don't worry. Right, let me see if I can make those twats bugger off. Like that. And then the fobby comes along. Or come along once I pick up the last stash. Right, go. Get this stuff. Back to the hideout. Back to Fern Ridge, Carl. No, piss off twat Alina. And I think I've lost all four wheels. Well, I have now. Shit! I could just get out. <gasps> okay, I'm fine. I'm safe. <laughs> well played, well played. Right, bombs away. Yeah, this mission and dirty lickings will be dead simple. With OHKO. And yes, I will of course be doing the usual get out of top fun van strat. Because if you kill the enemies when you're on foot in this mission, they don't fight back. They only shoot at you when you're using the planes. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, to get out of the top fun van, as soon as you're in the van, press and hold the exit vehicle button and keep it held down until that cutscene is over, okay? And if done correctly, you will get out. And as I said, the gang members won't fight back when you attack them. Okay. I'm going to have to go to this area a few missions from now, yes. For naval engagement. Take out their boats too. But not the car. Haha. -ha. It's mine now. I can't see because of the fucking bushes. I 
and I haven't saved in a while, so I'll save just while I'm here. Easy. There's nothing remotely easy about naval engagement with OHKO. Trust me. That's going to be all about luck. I suspect that mission is going to be the mission of the playthrough. <laughs> Pardon me. Piss off. Okay. Now I know in a previous session I said that I don't want to pick up adrenaline pills. In the case of this mission, I will make an exception. As always. Right, here we go. Um, right, be careful. Good, no unexplained fall damage. Right, stop, right, here we go. And it just so happens that the adrenaline pill effect lasts for the entire duration of the fight. See if we get one in the head. Nah, forget it. Here come the reinforcements. Got him. And wave goodbye to your nutsack, dumbass. Oh, missed him. <laughs> did he get in that van? Yes, he did. <laughs> What's the point in that? No idea. How did I get on if I use the minigun? Yeah. So it looks like the adrenaline pill effect wears off when you come out of aim mode with a sniper rifle. Yeah, I think that's actually what it is. Right, phone call to take from Auntie. Auntie Mary had a canary up the leg of her drawer. She sat on the gas, she burned her ass, and that was the end of the war. I don't think I can fit the car through this gap. Actually, I think I can, yes. Just... Breathing. Right, well, I'm here. Oh. oh, I'm in Little Havana, that's why I didn't get the call. Let me just get it out of the way. Just be careful when you're in Little Haiti going forward. In other words, I have overstayed my welcome. If that is the right expression to use. Right, Canum fodder. This should be interesting. You got problems with this? No, but I will have problems with naval engagement. Just you wait. And I took this car because you need a four-seater vehicle for Canum fodder. Quack. Right, I will stick the car over here. Once I've completed Canum Fodder, I'll save and then BRB. Haven't done so in a while. We're gonna fight like men. Yeah, oh, come on, guys. What's going on here? Bloody hell. That van took out an entire group of gang members, I think. Welcome to hell. No, that's naval engagement with the OHKO mod. I'm not in hell just yet. That's right, manana. Piss the piss off. Hey, yeah, I thought a group of Enemy gangsters spawned over there on the street, bloody hell. Right, I still have these, that's good. 
Right, please don't shoot me through the wall. As long as you take out that car, that should stop them from respawning infinitely here. Oh. Yeah. Kablooey. Fight in the alley just coming up might be a bit tricky too, you know. So, um, I'm gonna go back and I'll snipe the sniper from here. Give him a taste of his own medicine. I wonder if I should just let Umberto's guys take them out. See, I would use grenades, but if I take out Umberto's guys mission failed for betraying them. Okay, there's one more. Yeah. Right, this is the hard part. Just get in, just get in. Right, just go. Yeah, and watch out for the guys at the gate. Three of them to be precise. Well done. I'm not home yet, but that went a lot easier than I expected. Well played. And if you want, you can always pick up a tracksuit from the laundromat just coming up to clear your stars, but nah. I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm almost home. Almost home now. I had visions of a cop car shooting around the corner to my left back there. Nicely done. First try. Good work. Locked. Right. He's not pissed off. Right. Save time and BRB time. Cherry poppers, here I come again. And you know what? You don't see a banshee in this part of town very often, do you? No. Well, my blood pressure is about to be up. Because next up, bloody hell, is a naval engagement. Go. Yeah. Uh, oh no, I do want to save, I do want to save. Hold on. Sorry. Pew. BRB, as promised. That's right, boys. Let them have it. Now they're going to let me have it very shortly. Just you wait. Oh! Fart face. And the key to survival in the next mission, Trojan Voodoo, will just take it slow and be careful. But take out all the enemies before planting any of the bombs. Quack. And that includes the ones back at the gate. Okay. See, one thing I could try to do is leave a boat in the perfect spot at Starfish Island. Which would hopefully make it remain in memory. Because again, I would love to be able to get in a boat 
and drive away so I can take out the enemies on the boats from a safe distance, but they're... Look, they're right there. They're just gonna absolutely devastate me. Right, I think it was the guys in the right-hand boat that killed me. And I didn't manage to destroy that boat. Yeah. It looks like... I moved my aim to the left a bit too early, shall we say? Since I can't be arsed. Reversing and turning in that slow as shit stallion. I'll just run. I mean, if naval engagement continues to give me trouble, I'll just, uh, go for any percent. For now. Yeah, going for any percent, as in completing the story, is my main objective in all of my crazy GTA playthroughs. Yeah, I can assure you, trying to steal Rico's boat doesn't work because you have to kill him in order to do so. And if you do kill him, mission failed. And what makes it even more annoying is the fact that you can't skip this cutscene. I mean, you can't, you can't steal it. This boat is basically locked. Oh, I'm not sure he got me that time. I suspect it was the guys in the left boat. I want to try something. I know in this game the rocket launcher fires extremely quickly. Yeah, very unrealistically, but hey, it's a video game. Anything's possible. Right, okay. I do know that if you have the fast reload ability, the rocket launcher fires unrealistically quickly. It goes like... Choo, 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 choo. And of course, as soon as I do fire a rocket, that's gonna aggro the enemies in the boats. But let me test it. I'll grab the rocket launcher on the way to meet Rico and I'll see how I get on. Just gotta pray that I don't get killed by the sharks on dry land. When I do eventually survive the boat section. Right, let's see. Another problem is the boats are very close to Tommy's location. I could easily get hurt and killed by splash damage from my own rocket. And you know, if Tommy was able to swim this would be a hell of a lot easier. Absolutely. Jesus. Let me try leaving a boat in a specific spot. No, but that's just not gonna work. 
because think about it if I was to leave a boat in a specific spot I'm screwed either way because you know after I've left it where I want to leave it how am I supposed to get back onto dry land to start the mission Tommy can't swim man What if I stand on the front of the boat instead? Ah! Oh, who keeps killing me? It just seems as though it's always the same enemy who takes me out. Yeah, see, I would leave a boat here and then start the mission, but there's no way back to dry land after doing so, you see. It's just not going to work. So, I hate to say it, guys, but this one is indeed just all about luck. And I just got lucky, but, but, but... Ah! <laughs> Shit! I don't believe it. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Okay, fine. Let's just move on to the asset missions and finish the story instead then. I did not expect them to shoot me right off the bat. I need to uh, see if any road vehicle that I take to that house disappears. Once you get there. In Rico's boat, you know. I'll do the Kaufman Cobbs missions first of all. Let me just save there first. Quack, 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 triple quack. Oh, bloody hell. <coughs> so I'm just going to get straight in the cab. Do okay. The only reason there are gang members all over Little Haiti and Havana is because I've started but not finished Umberto's missions. The gang war stops once Trojan voodoo is over. Uh, I thought I was in the clear when I actually survived the boat section of naval engagement that time and then the game played its trump card yet again this is my fair. Back off, asshole. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh that was one of the funniest missions in a grand theft auto mod ever come on, come on, get it, quick. well done Quack. Okay. And I forgot this isn't Vice City Stories. If 
Fine, fine, fine. Well, pardon me, Mr. Perfect. I guess I forgot that you never make a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, regarding the enemies during the boat section of naval engagement, I'm not sure if the... Excuse me. If the ones on the dock in between the boats shoot at you or not. I think it's just the ones in the boat that do. Why can't naval engagement be that easy? Because it's just not, okay? Why not, you stupid bastard? Stupid mailboxes. Right. Sure you can take some kind of shortcut. I'm sure you can. I'm sure I've done this before. Yeah, there's a wee gap in the wall. Squeeze. Go to hell, naval engagement. Fuck off and go to hell. Not necessarily in that order. Right. Provided there are no... enemy gang members all over it the taxi firm. I will save there. Bonk. Hey knucklehead, I'm talking to you. Bonk. Good, not this time. And... Ooh. And this is the only Kaufman Cab's mission in which you don't have to be in a Kaufman Cab all the way through. Nope, just to start the mission and that's it. Right, someone just went behind the print works. Well, given that I've got to go back up north to start the next Kaufman Cabs mission anyway, I'll just let him go up north. I'll just let him go that way. Uh, you stay away. <laughs> Lovely. Did the right thing by taking the police cheetah previously. That hard heart's not going to save you now. Bloody hell. Do you have to go that far? Jeez. History. Right. Looks like he's going east now. Say hi to Calm for me. Oh wait, I can't. He didn't make it during the job. Where's he going now? Okay, fine. I suppose I've got an excuse to get more minigun ammo from Phil's place. I'll need it for the final story mission. Keep your friends. Whoa! Close. <laughs> right, he's coming back. Watch out for Haitians. And, oh, you're supposed to take out the cab, not just the driver. Oof. <laughs> Bloody hell. plan for keep your friends close is as soon as the Lance cutscene has ended I will run straight back into the office and try to take out Lance from there. It is possible. And then hold off the Mafia for a while until the sunny cutscene plays. And then I'll hide in the office again and carefully take out Sonny. 
as soon as Sonny is dead. Well, not quite as soon as Sonny is dead, but a few seconds after Sonny is dead, the mission ends successfully, provided Tommy has at least one point of health. do the usual strat of just driving straight to the southern point of the compound and hiding behind the containers and taking the cabs out from the little hiding place. What's that donut muncher up to? Well when I do these kind of playthroughs I may as well have a fucking death wish. And I wish there was a sign of luck during naval engagement with OHKU. Okay. Right, quick. Well done. That could have ended badly. Thankfully it did not. Here comes the massive chain reaction. Which ended a bit too soon, sadly. Okay. Finally. <laughs> it's time for Kaufman's cab, Guardian Angel, to eat some fender. Well, I've lost my own taxi as well. Come on then, you and your zebra cab and katana, I dare you. Oh! Whoa! No! <laughs> Shit! As soon as I realised how quickly he was driving towards me, I knew I was not going to be able to avoid that. Right, I'll see you back at 8 balls. Would it be worth staying in the cab? Forget it. Have I taken out all six on this occasion? Yes, that's better. It's time for Kaufman's cab, Guardian Angel, to eat some fender. I was going to take the other route. I'm not sure if that gate remains open during this section. Hold on. If I could aim properly, I'd be able to get the driver from here. Bloody hell. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, he was. He was. Better. Much better. <laughs> so the problem with the minigun is um, you have to wait for Tommy to lower it. Yeah. That animation does take a while to end. Right, since I'm in Vice Port, I'll get Checkpoint Charlie out of the way, which I will, of course. Speed up. And I gotta do distribution as well, unfortunately. It's either that or I could do um 
Sunshine Nautilus. Let's grab the pink speedboat. Let's go. I think I'll do distribution, actually. And I'll also do the pole position club. Which I will, of course, speed up as well. And I will speed up distribution as well, yeah. <laughs> Not just the pole position club. Right. Just like all hands on deck, as in the aftermath of all hands on deck, be careful when you're trying to get out at this jetty. Come on. Come on, rise up. <gasps> oh! Oh, fine, whatever. Seriously, how did I take fall damage there? Seriously. How? That is ridiculous. With a capital R. Let me get the Infernus. Well, I won't need the minigun until uh, Cap the Collector. So I'll get it later. Let me just save first. Head down to pole position and save there. Fuck's sake! I knew, I knew that taxi was going to do that, and I still crashed, even though I managed to avoid him. Tell you what, I've not saved in a while. Let me save here. Let me get comfy. I have no clue. Quack. How I took fall damage right there, that's just insane. Oh, Yeah, Oh, indeed. <laughs> Big fucking oh. Good, he turned right, not left. And I still haven't got a one to start. <laughs> well good, keep it that way. I think you popped another micro dot. Yeah, again, as always, this is getting sped up, as is distribution. And once this is out of the way, I'll probably BRB. See you at the end. Hooey, the necessary evil, which is the pole position club asset. Okay, oh, now, now. Hey, hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Printworks. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I gotta go. Wait a second. Okay, never mind. Okay. So I have. I actually completed the required amount of assets to unlock Cap the Collector. Okay, fine. There was me thinking I had to do um, dis uh, either distribution or sunshine autos as well, but no, it's all good. It's fine, it's fine. Pleasant surprise. Right. So before I save at the print works and then do Cap the Collector, allow me to get some more minigun ammo from. Phil's place, and I can stock up on uh, ammo for other weapons elsewhere, such as the basement of Tommy's mansion for the shotgun and M4, you know.
seriously. I think yellow infernuses or inferni are bad luck for me. Because I seem to remember the last time I drove a yellow infernus in this playthrough I had a similar problem. Oh. On that topic, a similar topic, I forgot to mention this earlier on but I can only imagine how difficult Demolition Man would be if I was to make a vehicle OHKO playthrough of this game. Bloody hell. I don't think I want to know how difficult that would be. To be honest with you, it might not even work. Well, actually, I think it would. Because I was just thinking about the fact that um, at one point during supply and demand, Lance scratches the boat against a wall when you're doing the shooting, but that shouldn't get destroyed. It sh that, I mean, that shouldn't destroy the boat, is what I mean. Because it's not Tommy who's doing the driving. But then again, the police scanner lady does say suspect last seen in a boat. So vehicle OHKO might affect it. Well, there's only one way to find out. Try it for myself. Right. Oh shit. I was meant to save. I got totally mixed up with the pink things outside the building. It's fine. This mission isn't all that hard anyway. But I do have to change vehicle. I'll quickly grab a cheetah from the police station. Go on then. I know they have. Get alongside and drive by the fuckers. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Right. Oh, I ran over the wrong person. <laughs> and I can't do a drive, but I just realised <laughs> I lost my SMG ammo. Oh, come on, do you want to die or not? I mean, are you going to die or not, rather? Finally! Jesus Christ, that took far too long. Right, let's go. And there's a Mac in Vice Port. Anyway, it's fine. I'll just grab that. There. So much for the chainsaw that I got from Screw This earlier. And I was going to say, all the members of the Mafia in the next mission have SMGs, but I want to stay as far away from them as possible with OHKO. Where the fuck are they going? I'm assuming it's the Malibu Club. Right, I'll see you over there. Right, I'm going to run them over on the first try. Yes, actually, I am. Well played. Yeah, and the only reason they went across to the Malibu Club was because they'd successfully taxed the boatyard. Right, they're going to come across that same bridge. I'm sure of it. Let me see. Looks like they are going south, okay. I'll intercept the fuckers down here. Oh, hold on. I tried to switch the siren on sooner but pressed the wrong button. Sorry about that.
Right then. There we go. Better. And all I get is a shitty shotgun. I'm sure that shitty shotgun, as you call it, speaks very highly of you. Stop pressing the wrong button. First the horn button, or the enter vehicle button. Right, I'll BRB once I've saved at the mansion. Wish me the very best of luck with keep your friends close. So again, yes, this is an all missions playthrough, but I will at least try to go for any percent. Yeah. Again, any percent is always my main objective in every playthrough. Way ahead of you, Mr. Vance. Right. BRB. Okay, wish me the very best of luck. If you stand in a specific spot, yeah, here, and don't move a muscle, the Mafia won't actually spawn. Yeah, they'll only spawn. I'll keep the minigun at the ready just in case. No. Fists at the ready. Yeah, as long as you stand where I'm standing and don't move a muscle, it stops the Mafia from spawning. So you can just wait here for the Lance cutscene to trigger. And as soon as said Lance cutscene is over, I'm going to run straight back into the office. Here we go. Here they come. Good job. Just don't, don't shoot me through the wall, anybody. Here comes somebody that wants to rob the safe. Uh oh. Fuck. Almost had it there. Should I grab the python? No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Way, ball the cups too close. I missed Lance. Didn't miss him though, thankfully. Oh no! Whoa! I need to step back a bit, so I can actually. Hit Lance. I need to hit that guy first though. I would if that fucking wall's hitbox wasn't so large. Nice. I got Lance. Well done. Because I had the fucking minigun equipped, I couldn't get away! Oh! That is so annoying! Shit. Okay. Third time's the charm? Hopefully. Notice how there's a spade at the front door, by the way. Yeah, just to the right. What's that for? <laughs> Burying Tommy's multiple clones after repeatedly failing this mission with OHQ and naval engagement. No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going 
down, you stabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Jeez, I'm gonna get shot at that point. One of these days, aren't I? Yeah. I can totally and utterly see it happening. Unfortunately, Lance got a weight. I see you there, Mr. Blue Shirt Guy. Yeah, forget Mr. Blue Sky. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I am dead. What a surprise. And it happened. Yep, I knew that would happen. Is it not possible to get a car inside the mansion before you start the mission? I should have tried that before and the answer was no. Unless you do like some sort of like replay trick manipulation stuff. You know, something that's a bit too technical for my brain. And I think the hold off the Mafia outside the office section lasts one minute. Yeah, I thought I saw some guys. Jesus. Well, here we go again, everybody. This is a lot worse than No Escape. Not as bad as Naval Engagement, though. There's something else I've got in mind. Yeah, another strat. Whether or not it will actually work, I don't know. Because I haven't actually tried it for myself. Lance is dead. I'm not. Thankfully, he just wanted to rob the safe. Right, and the only reason the sunny cutscene triggered immediately the last time I killed Lance is because I'd waited in the office for long enough. Shit, he's gonna die. There we go, right. I still had the Mac, that's fine. I hope that guy behind me disappeared. Yes, he did. Good. Thank God he disappeared. I don't know if any more enemies spawn elsewhere in the mansion. Yes, there's your answer. Hearts racing. Right, come on. Come on, Stu. Come on, Stu. I think I hit Sonny, I'm sure I saw a big red flash of blood right there. Here come here comes someone else. Oh no! Oh no! Come on. That's it. Yeah, I saw that guy coming down the stairs. I just saw him. Oh no. Oh shit, there's two of them. Three of them! And I got all three of them. Okay, I've had enough. Sonny's down. <sighs> well done. Jesus Christ, my heart is still pounding. Don't ever make me do that mission with OHKO again. Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? 
It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? Had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Cause there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? I'd have to say, Ken really enjoys uh, throwing his arms into the air, doesn't he? There we go. Bloody hell. So what was that uh, other strat you had in mind, Stu? Okay. The plan was run as fast as possible to the roof, grab the helicopter, land outside the front of the mansion, as close to the Infernus as possible, steal the Infernus and drive it inside and use that to kill Lance and Sonny more safely. Whatever, Paul. Whatever. Right. Um, let me think. Just wondering what other weapons I could use for uh, the on foot section of keep your. F I mean, naval engagement, sorry. BRB, first of all. Okay. Oh, time. I'll take this phone call and then I'll save again. So me, Mario. Right. Hmm. And there is no fucking chopper there. After all that, I was hoping to fly to Cafe Rubina to get there a bit more quickly. And this will be the phone call from Paul, in which he starts bawling his eyes out. Percent. We've got save the game percent right here. Hmm. Naval engagement. This bloody hell. There's got to be something I can do to make that easier. And it's not helped by the fact that it's. As we, as we saw, it's possible to get shot right off the bat once you're on foot. You know, as soon as you gain control of Tommy after the boat section, you can get shot right off the bat. Nope. I'm holding that phone call up. I can't even remember who it is who calls you at this point. Oh, Ernest Kelly, that's who.
Don't know if it was them or them who got me that one time when I was standing at the front of the boat. I, f I got the guys on the roof, yep, yeah, so the guys on the house are there at the start as well. Okay, this is my first attempt at this mission in a while. Right, if I can take out the hell's going on? If I can take out all the guys outside the house. There's a guy over there. And two guys over there. Right. Easy does it. That tree has a big shit box, which is good. I didn't get the guy in red. Oh, there's three of them, bloody hell. Would it be worth trying a grenade? Throw it at full power. Don't think I got any of them. Didn't burn us off, that's good. Yeah, I need to get that guy. Is he dead? Yep. Yeah. And don't go over there, whatever you do, there's a shotgun guy back there. I'm fairly sure I got all the guys out front. Oh, <gasps> no, that's him. Well, he's, he's a shotgun guy as well. I suppose he could live. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that guy over there is a shotgun guy as well. He might not even be able to get me from there. Right. There's no more guys run front. Yeah. Right. I want to lose my stars first. Give it a rest, please, scanner bitch. Jeez. Again, this is my first attempt at this mission after moving on to something else. Right. Let me just go inside and lose my stars. Using the street outfit. No cops should spawn in here. Yep. The merchandise is still there. Would it be worth getting the helicopter? It might. But finding somewhere to land it, <coughs> excuse me, finding somewhere to land it isn't going to be easy. Right, just don't forget about the shotgun guy, okay? Whatever you do, don't forget about him. Just, I'm taking my time. Yes, yeah, Stu, we can see that. Right, what to do first? Maybe take out the shotgun guy drive by style first. And then the first case that you want to pick up is the one that's closest to the water because more enemies do spawn. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, more enemies do spawn once you've picked up all the cases. As long as my car doesn't disappear after the cutscene where Rico's boat gets destroyed, I'll be extremely happy. Just pick them up one at a time. One at a time. Okay. Right, I'm gonna mash 
that it's her key. That bullet went straight over my head. Boy, did I do the right thing by parking my car right there. <laughs> I'm in an Infernus, it's in good condition. Ish. I'm not going to bother losing my stars. And by the way, I just heard the upstairs neighbour's dog whining. I think he's about to go crazy. His separation anxiety. Actually, I think I will lose my stars. Ah! Oh, bloody hell! He got stuck. Come on. Pain spray, it's not far. Take the ditch down here. Okay. No, you don't have to do that. Just go on the back. And you'll be fine. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, here we go. I was far too scared to get out of the car to enter that pink marker. Because I had four stars, and remember, when you have three stars or above, cops spawn all over the place when you're on foot. That was too risky. But good job with naval. En <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> good job with naval engagement. Excellent work, I man. I'm really glad that I managed to kill that guy on the roof just before the cutscene played. I reckon if I didn't kill that guy, he would have killed me before I managed to take cover behind the wall. Excellent work. Good shot for once. Well done. Okay. And just in case my computer crashes, forcing me to do naval engagement with OHKO again, I'm going to save and BRB. And this playthrough is almost over already, folks. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, first of all, I'll take the phone call later, Ernest, okay? There's more important things. BRB. Okay, Trojan Voodoo time. And then I'll finish the playthrough off by doing publicity tour, just for the heck of it. And I might, just might, have a go at PCJ Playground and maybe even Dirt Ring at the stadium. FYI, one voodoo is very handily parked over here. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Okay, now. Take it slow when you're in the factory and you'll get to the end of the mission alive. I was waiting for that. No, I was waiting for the cutscene to end. There is a difference. Yeah, I noticed something funny how um, I kept failing naval engagement when I was wearing the Havana outfit. But <laughs> when I switched to the street outfit, I got past it on my first try. Strange. <laughs> and how is our cover not blown already? Oh, because he wasn't a gang member. And yes, 
they got a new sniper after their precious cannon fodder sniper got killed. Right, so there's enemies back there. Good luck, here we go. Alright, let's uh, oh, oh, oh. I'll go for the guys over here first of all, without taking out Umberto's men. And those guys over there. Don't give two shits, suits me. I don't know if there are any infinitely respawning enemies in this mission. Or is that just in the hard lined mod? I suspect it might just be the hard lined mod. What are you playing at? I didn't know Rico and Pepe had a rivalry. I think there are at least two enemies left in here, and there's one of them. And again, it might be the only one. Aye, ah, yeah, that's what I thought. Mm, not quite, not quite. Right, what are they shooting at exactly? Hmm? Just let them be stupid then. Thank God. When they shoot each other, they don't take damage. Yeah, I'm fairly sure I got all the enemies. Oh, there's still one left. Oh no! Ah! Let me take him out quickly. Oh, right, go, come on. I've got time, don't worry. Oh, there's still him. I almost didn't get him. Jeez. Please don't do that to me, game. <laughs> As Phil Cassidy would say, I heard there was going to be a party, so I brought fireworks. Another cowardly sniper bites the dust. Oh shit. Come on then. One guy ended up under the stairs. And good, that wanted level has held up that phone call. <laughs> Both of them actually. The one from Ernest and the one from Umberto. Hell yeah. Good job that man. Okay. Well, I'm sad to say there's only one mission left in this playthrough. It is Publicity Tour. I'm not going to bother with distribution. No combat involved whatsoever. But I'm going to do Publicity Tour because even though there's no combat in that mission, I fucking love that mission. It's so funny. By the way, I'm fairly sure that Jez Torrance's singing voice in this game was provided by the same person who sang some of the rock songs in uh, GTA 1 and 2. If I'm not mistaken, I think his name is Paul Mackey. And I think I also read somewhere that they didn't get paid very much to make the songs for those games. Asses, asses. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. Go and find it, Bob. Can we just drive around all day? I would get plenty to drink. The bomb may be in the engine. Please stop to get. We're all going to die. I'm going to get pissed. Hey, there's a queue here, pal. Hey, mate, I'm just near the drinks cabinet. Get him away. 
Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Why have to blow? No, it said the drink would kill me. I've seen this on the telly. You gotta pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, see, show me. I'm gonna play bass in hell. Tommy, man, keep driving fastball. Somebody do something. I clever. Somebody do something for kind of crap is that? I've seen braver quines. Okay, tough guy, you do something. Look, man, I play a musical instrument, and I have a clue about bomb disposal. Well, he could just suck the boom shine out with a straw. Quack. Well, but you're good at that kind of thing. Uh, hey, I was off my tits that night as well, you know. Just pass Willie a straw. I a straw? This is a love fist to a bus. I'm gonna get a straw make it by me. Which one, Tommy? The green one. There isn't a green one. Oh, 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 is this a green one? Any of these wires look green to you? Oh, and that desk in the car, Tommy, looks green. I should have dumped you a lot when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist. I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet. Extreme and girl. Aye, shut it and pull a wire. Which wire? This one. No! Man, we're okay. We ain't been blown up. Tommy, man, nice one. Rock and roll, man. And we've got a gig to go to. A racket to make groupies to abuse. Oh, fist! Oh, fist! Oh, fist! Have you finished with that ball? Hello, V Rock. <laughs> Well, I would welcome V-Rock with open arms, that's my favourite station in this game. And I am officially driving the limo at top speed, listen to that. Not for long, okay. I have to say, I liked that, um... twist on this mission in the hard line mod here, once the speed sensitive bomb has been defused, you then have a time bomb. And I'll speed this up. And I only just noticed that Rockstar has written on the amps during that cutscene. Also, nice guitars during that cutscene. Right, three phone calls now. Uh, no, four actually. I got one from S Steve Scott if you're on Prawn Island. One from Ernest when you're in a little Havana or Haiti. And this one from Mitch. Hello, Tommy. Yeah. It's Baker. Just wanted to say I really enjoyed the show. Me and the boys want to thank you and remind you, you've got our respect. Good day. Keep riding hard, son. And the one from Umberto. Uh, I don't think I want to do Dirt Ring with OHKO, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of that side mission at all. I mean, I'd say out of all three stadium events in this game, Dirt Ring is my least favourite. So I think I'm just going to give it a miss with OHKO. But I will, however, try PCJ Playground. I almost said PCJ Purgatory. And that's what it's called in Titan Vice. Oh god, that epic photo finish. If I was to ever make a top 10 moments of my playthroughs, that one would probably be in the top 5. Okay, not too far from where the bike is parked. I'll save it the Malibu. Also, quack, <laughs> oh, eviscerated. Come on then. See you around. And the rain is on, isn't it? Yes. Let me save a few times to get rid of the rain. It'll make PCJ Playground a hell of a lot easier. You don't have to run that far away from the save icons, do you? Come on. 
Ez nem az. Uh, one more should hopefully nip that rain in the bud. Yeah, it should be us now, for sure. Can I get the yellow banshee? Yes, I can. I almost didn't. I have a feeling the roads are still wet. You can still see the rain particles on the ground. Something else that's going to make this mission tough with OHKO. I haven't done it in a long time. That's right. Right. Oh, off! I did the right thing there. I did the right thing by jumping off right then and there. Well timed. Right, there's one on the roof up here. Which I just got. Good. Jeez. Isn't there one on this tiny ramp here? Oh, I forgot about the scripted Yankee trucks that come along. Yes, that one too. I think that truck was a pavement pizza maker. I'm sure I heard something going splat. Right, and a... Oh, I almost hit that bloody wall. Okay, four more, including this one. Quack. Oh, fail quack. Never mind. And then there's this bit. I don't want to go too fast, otherwise I'll... Oh, yeah, this will happen. <laughs> uh, well... Really? I didn't know that would happen. I thought if you got in a different vehicle during PCJ Playground, the mission wouldn't end, it would just keep going until the time runs out. Okay, well I'll tell you what, I'll have one more go at PCJ Playground, then I'll come off and officially end this playthrough, unless I do decide to do Dirt Ring with OHK, which uh, seems unlikely to be honest with you. I mean, I know I said I might at the start of this playthrough, but uh, there is a very good chance that I've decided against it now. <laughs> that was tight. Very tight. Yeah, you don't have to go too quickly for the final roof. Yeah, this is just a wee extra challenge for myself. Don't lag like that, you make me think the game has crashed. Please don't do that. And don't do that either, Silver Banshee driver. Ah! Just got that one. Thank God these checkpoints have big shit boxes. Yeah, this bit. I think maybe if I start here. And don't bother leaning forward because that just makes you go a bit too fast. Okay, I've got time to slow down. That's perfect. Right, now what I've got to do now is... Oh no! <laughs> oh. Wrong side. Bloody hell.
Do I see rain clouds in the sky? Or am I seeing shit? I gotta lay off the pills, I'm seeing shit. Crush, kill, demolish. Yeah, this one is always tight. Well, this can be done. It definitely, definitely can be done. Fuck me! Right, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna save at the Malibu Club to avoid this fucking journey ever again. I think I only failed last time because the bike landed right on a curb and the game didn't like it. No, the, the laws of physics didn't like it, more like. Okay, okay, okay. Right, it almost happened again. As in I almost bailed off again. Or fell off again. Oh <gasps> shit, man! How'd that happen? It's fine. I'm still on. No big deal. Right. Two jumps remaining in this challenge. And the last one is the Sparrow Building. Yeah, I've got to see if I can collect both of the f the final two checkpoints in one attempt. Yeah, one jump. That was the same guy and it was a fail quack once again. Right. I started the run from around about here, didn't I? And I didn't lean forward. Did I slow down at all? Can't remember. Okay. I jumped off the bike at precisely the right time. Well done. So I didn't get the one on the roof. Nope. It was the one in midair that I got. Yeah, the one on the building is still there. Now that I think about it, I don't think I slowed down last time I tried this mission. I didn't lean forward, I know that. Jeez. There. <laughs> Excellent work. Ah, there's your quack. Hold on. Oh, you sick fuck. Well, unless I decide to have a go at Dirt Ring, which again seems unlikely. That is the end of Tommy Versetti once again. <laughs> that is the end of yet another crazy GTA playthrough. And this one was shorter than usual. Hope you enjoyed, I sure as hell did despite its difficulty. But what's coming next, I'm not 100% sure but it'll either be GTA 3 with Riot Percent again, yeah the rebooted GT3 Riot Percent playthrough in which I'll do all missions instead of just completing the story. Or it'll be another San Andreas playthrough. The details of which, <laughs> excuse me, I'm just going to keep under my hat. Thanks for watching again, stay solid and don't let naval engagement bite. Until next time, take care and good night Vice City and I will see you in the next playthrough, whatever it may be.